Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sousetta. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke in the forecast. Hi, Kristen. Hey, good afternoon. A lot of sunshine today. Slightly cooler for some of you than where we were yesterday, but really not by much. Temperatures are still above average across most of the state. We'll be looking at nice weather again tomorrow. Cold front moves through tomorrow night. That's going to drop temperatures dramatically for your Sunday. We're also going to see more cloud cover and the winds picking up too as we track the next storm system that's heading our way. That's going to move in Sunday afternoon and it's going to track through New Mexico, uh, bringing in the chance for more snow. We'll be mainly looking at a uh, mountain snow shower. Favoring the eastern slopes of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, there up into the northeast, and we could even be looking at parts, uh, east central parts of the state, looking at some snow Sunday night into early Monday. Lower terrain, kind of a mix of rain and snow, and not out of the question. We may even get a few showers here in the metro area. Something we're going to follow very closely as we get into the weekend. Your seven-day forecast here. Get out and enjoy the nice weather today and tomorrow, because then the cold moves in, and again that unsettled weather moves in late this weekend into early next week. Listen to that. Albuquerque drivers celebrated the New Mexico 100th birthday loud and proud today by honking their horns for about 30 seconds. The noisy commemoration erupted at 11:35 this morning. It's about the same time President William Howard Taft signed the New Mexico statehood bill. The Alvarado Transportation Center also got in on the revelry with train, bus, and car horns all going off. An El Dorado high school football player got one year probation for a DWI crash that hurt another school athlete. Aaron Herrera admitted in court he'd been drinking when he crashed into a Jeep driven by basketball player Cameron Glasrud in November. He pleaded guilty to aggravated DWI today. Charges of reckless driving and causing disturbance were dismissed. He also must be under a curfew and the supervision of his parents. We'll stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Happy birthday, New Mexico.